Hello, and welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. I got here last night after a long day of traveling via bus from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And I was hoping to uh, look for my father's apartment that he had here during his second tour here in Vietnam, but uh, I haven't been able to get hold of him for some final, final details. And it's either because, uh, I don't know, I'm the least favorite of four children or the time change. One of them, I don't know. Well, anyway, we have something just as good. We have a counterfeit fake goods market that is massive. So we will go check that out once we get across this crazy street. And you see there's a lot of scooters. Scooters are the main mode of transportation here in Vietnam. And you look for a gap, and then you just gotta put your faith and go. You just fucking go, man. Ugh. And here we are. We are at the market. Easy peasy. Let's uh, dive in this way. Looks like things might be closing up. Well, at least that area. That was more of the food area. Now my dad was here, and he fought in the resistance war to the Americas for the nation, or the American War. You probably know it as the Vietnam War. But we lost, and I'm, I'm saying they get to name it. And here we are, the market's alive, alive and well and bustling. Hello, how are you? Look at all these candies and coffees. Fun fact, Vietnam is the second largest exporter of coffee in the world. And what is that? Is a uh, snake wine? Yes, snake wine. It's good. It makes you strong. Yes. You want to buy? How much is snake wine? How much would be a little bottle of snake wine be? Uh, two two hundred two, for one. Two hundred. I feel like I'm gonna have to do that. I will, if I buy snake wine, I will buy it from you. Thank you. Snake wine, fertility. That would have been interesting to see my father's apartment. He was, uh, like I mentioned, he did two tours. The first one, he lied about his age, dropped out of high school, and came over here when he was 17. Crazy. Seems like a crazy experience for a 17-year-old. All types of candies and coffees and just things that look delightful and sweet. Delightful and sweet. Hello. Let's continue down this way. Yeah, it was a tragic war. The U.S. We lost almost 60,000 lives during our time here. And what's even sadder is it could have ended years earlier. Except Nixon, after getting elected, knowing we were going to lose the war, kept it going to assure his re-election, which is just puzzling to me what some people will do for power. What's even more puzzling is what people will allow people to do for power. Yeah, look at these souvenirs. These are all fantastic. They look great. And this, I love these so much. I think you're not allowed to bring them through customs though. I'm not sure. Animals, live or dead, those look like dead, dead animals to me. So as I was saying, the war continued for another three years. Three years under the guise that we had the potential to win. And the administration knew we did not. It 
Let's go this way. Hi, Yusa. Hello. And look at these bags. We have Prada, Prada bags, Michael Kors, coach bags, so many different items and wallets. Christian Dior. Beautiful, beautiful purses. I'm also um, a little hesitant to come right out and say they're all fake. Fake brands, fake names, because Vietnam is a manufacturing powerhouse. It is one of the fastest growing economies in all of Asia. And it has benefited immensely due to the relation between the US and China. And also Beijing shutting down during Corona. A bag for you, sir. A bag for me? Mm -hmm. Wallet. <laughs> wallet? Yes, wallet. This, uh, give me an idea. So, like this Prada, how much is this right here? This one, huh? Yeah, let me see. Vietnam dong. So that's $50, $50 maybe? Yes. Oh. U.S. dollars. Fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice. That's. Yeah, fifty dollar Prada purse. I appreciate it. You want? All right. So there you go. But as I was saying, they are a manufacturing powerhouse. So a lot of these goods could be manufactured here, and they could be, I don't know, like slightly defective product, or. I don't know. Anyway, $50 for that Prada purse. Not that I know purse prices. And actually, Vietnam's economy is so booming that there are more millionaires made each year per capita in Vietnam than any other country in Asia. I'm definitely going to buy a t-shirt at some point. Yeah, it's a beautiful one. Is this large? I got this one large. How much is this shirt? Dollars. Ten dollars. That's a ten dollar t-shirt. Yes, the Buddha with the headphone t-shirt. Do you have this in a large? Okay. I'll buy two. I want this one in a large. This one in a large. Okay. For... Perfect. Okay. Yeah, sounds so good. Yeah, this is great. Hello. All right, let's knock out some gifts. You buy something else in the wear? Underwear? Ooh, I'd look good in these, huh? I have many sizes. <laughs> I don't need any underwear. You buy something else? You know what I like? I like this with the star. I want a nice communist t shirt. Because next year, Vietnam's going to be cel celebrating 50 years of communist rule. Is this a large? I have many size. Yeah, I love this. Do you ha Let me have a large in this also. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't want that one. I just want three. What size? Three for 25. Three, 25 dollars. All right, excellent deal. Yeah, I'd be looking good with this, this, this hat, with this shirt. Yeah, that's a, that's a good look. I know, I like it. Okay, the Buddha shirts. This one, what size you want? Large. I'll take, I like this color. Okay. I want this shirt. And this one? I want that shirt. What the fuck? I don't know. Why does everyone push? Why, why do you guys want to sell those? So? Saigonia? No. Sa that's a good one, though. Sa yeah. Saigonia. I want the... Lash. Good morning, Vietnam. No, I, that's the last of all your shirts that I want to purchase. Okay, I'll sell you for 3 27 Yeah. Just do 25 Give me. Make me feel like a winner. Okay. Other fight, I'm going to feel like I've been taken 26. advantage of. <laughs> 26? Okay. All right, I'll meet you. 26 it is. Okay. All right. My negotiating skills are terrible. And how much is that in uh, dongs? Oh, by the way, 
Vietnam has the greatest currency name there is. Okay. So the currency is called dongs. And uh, I love that. It's fun. Like, you can make fun jokes like, hey, look at all the dongs in my hand right now. <laughs> look, she's grabbing dongs from my hand. Look what she's doing with my dong. This is a fun currency. Thank you. I have my shirts. You have my dong. Hello, how are you today? I'm good. You want t for you? I already have my t shirts. I know you have great yeah. you have great t shirts. <laughs> and everyone's friendly here. Another fun fact Vietnam has a literacy rate of ninety seven percent. Very, very educated population. I guess that's uh part of the communist agenda. Keep their people smart. No, thank you. I know, your, eye, your eyes suck me in. What are these? Oh, little purses. Yeah, these are pretty. Postcards, little baskets. No, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. Right, let's continue this way. Yeah, you have a lot of purses here. A lot of name brand, fancy ass purses. And again, I can't say for sure if these are fakes or since they very likely are manufactured here, they could have access to, um, I don't know, non-US bullshit prices. We have hit a roadblock here, a traffic jam, as I fight my way. Oh my god, what country am I in? I feel a little confused right now. Look at that dragon shirt up there. That's my jam. Tablecloths, coffee table, covers. As I was mentioning, my father's first tour here when he fought in the war, resistance war to America for the nation. He uh, lied about his age. He was 17, he came over. His second tour, and uh, I'm not sure how I say this, but uh, allegedly, Hello. He assumed someone else's identity and did the tour for them to spare them from coming over here. And uh, he doesn't talk much about his time here. At least not lately. As a kid, I would get a little information every now and then. But uh, like I said, 17 year old coming over here leaving the country for the first time to fight a war that was actually never declared a war. Oh, I should also mention that with all the other names, it's also known as the Second Indochina War. And that's because, unknown to, I guess, most Americans, the history, the Lao and uh, Cambodia were also involved. They had civil wars going at, on at the time, and there was a huge bombing campaign by the CIA in both of those countries. And in fact, Laos is the most bombed country in the world. And there's still uh, live shells that kill people each year to this day, 50 years later. But not knowing, it's no surprise, that war, that campaign, and those two theaters were called 
the secret war. You have so many cute wallets and purses. Yes, yeah, you buy hit me. <laughs> yeah, look at all. I sell good ride for you, okay? You buy uh, for lady, yeah, for men? For lady? For lady, you okay, give your wife. What would a lady like? Uh, and what is that? A, co a coach bag? And this the most Gucci. You like Gucci? Gucci, very nice. Black, black, brown, baby. Gucci. Okay. How much is that Gucci bag? This one, I give you uh, the uh, good price. Vietnam number. Six hundred. Six hundred. Very cheap. Yeah, it's like twenty-five dollars. Yeah, but. And, and how much for the coach bag? And this one. Nine hundred. So. Thirty. So, uh, $30 coach bag, and that's the starting asking price. I don't have a lady though. You need lady? I do. My sister, I mean, my sister, I mean. I only need one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do like some running shorts. Wow. Yeah, I'm, if I had a carry-on bag, I would load up before I went home. It's a lot of great. Cheap price for you. What you looking for? A wife. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> right here? Huh? All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Good lady. Yeah. Good lady. Oh, All right. <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, I need. I like the Ray Bans. Elastic. Yeah. How much are these Ray Bans? That's one. Two hundred. Two hundred. Eight dollar. My eight dollar Ray Bans. What you looking for? That's a score. Now I can actually see. It's T-shirts, sir. T-shirts, no thank you. Folding, folding. I'm looking at all kinds of things. These backpacks are great prices. Like so tempting. I like a good hip sack. Oh, look at this Cotopaxi hip sack. How much is this? Two hundred fifty. So ten dollars for this Cotopaxi. Now I'm just buying things to buy things. Yeah. No, thank you. Now I'm being silly. I, I don't. I don't need any of this. I need to keep moving on. Let's get over here. And we have kids' clothes. Look at those cute. Dresses and robes, silky robes. And right out here is the main street for my hotel. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head back and go get some dinner. I've been eating like crazy. Tomorrow I am taking a train to, uh, oh my God. Dang. My brain just fried. I'm trying to do like two things at once. This traffic's a pain in the ass. I'm taking a train to Da Nang and I actually have a private sleeper car. And it's going to be a, be an 18 hour train ride. But I have a private car. There's apparently a food car. There's a bar car. There's a viewing car. And I'm looking very, very forward to it. Seeing Vietnam by train. Anyway, I'm out. That's the fake market, counterfeit market. We got some goods, we got some gifts. Ciao.